What's up guys, I'm back here with another episode of best Android apps for 2014. If you have not been through my previous episode, the link to it is in the description. So without any further delays, let's begin. The first app on my list is the Rec. Rec is a screen recording app that allows you to record the screen of your phone. You have to be rooted in order to use this app. You can easily record what you do on your phone. But on the free version, you are limited to 5 minutes of video without the audio and uh, 30 seconds of video with the audio. This app comes very handy if you want to record something quickly like video calls, audio calls or YouTube videos for later access. Simply launch the app, select the bitrate of the video, select the duration of the video, select if you want your video to be played with the audio and a given file name. Simply tap on the record button after that and start recording. Grant the super user access and start recording. Uh, once done, the recorded files are saved on your rec folder. Back to the app, uh, you have the slider menu for restoring the defaults of this preset. You have options for upgrading, settings, and about this app and developer. On the settings menu, we have the options for choosing when to ask for the root access. You have options for the recording countdown. You can choose whether to show the touches or whether not to show the touches while recording and uh, minimize options, notification options, and the other recording options. The next one is the cleaner. The cleaner is a simple app that cleans your memory and storage of your Android phones. As we all know, when we use different apps on our phone, a lot of unwanted files or say junk files take up the storage and memory of our phone. We even have a lot of unwanted apps running on the background. With this app, you can clean the memory and clear the junk files on your storage with an ease. With a very simple UI, all you have to do is choose between clearing the memory and storage, tap on this circle where to analyze and tap clean. You can go to settings to choose when to scan your phone and choose between different themes. Let me apply one of them and show you. There you go. The only thing lacking on this app is a widget. If we had a widget like on the cleaner master, it would be very easy to clear memory without launching the app. Apart from that, a very simple and easy app and it really works great. The next one is N7 Player. N7 Player is another great way to experience music. If you are bored from the stock music app, this app is right for you. A unique media player for any Android device. When you start this app, you get a very stylish artist list where you have to pinch to zoom in for the artist album and tap on the album to view their songs and also tap on the song to play it. You can do the same with the genres too. Zoom into your favorite genre and tap on the album. To view all the songs and details, tap on the music icon and browse through all the music, uh, folders and playlists or customize the view. Another cool feature of this app is that you also can adjust the equalizers, which is very cool in my opinion, as most of the stock music app don't have equalizers with them. You can also download the album arts that are missing and uh, you also can set a sleep timer on this music player. On settings, you have extra options for playback, headsets, your library, album arts, lock screen and appearance. So the lock screen options here is uh, you will get a widget on your lock screen. So that is really cool. So a great music player here. The next one here is the Solo Weather. Solo is a stylish weather app, but this app is still in a beta phase that comes with a very stylish widget and a weather app. First, let's talk about the app itself. Here we have the current temperature of the cities that were saved. Below that, we have the forecast for the next five days. Below that, we have a chart showing us the rise and fall of the maximum temperature. As we can see, it's getting hotter day by day. Below that, uh, we have information about the wind and pressure, sunrise and sunset, and the published date. To update the weather, simply pull down. And to add different cities, Simply tap on the add button and type your city name or tap on the GPS icon. To find weather of the current location, you can tap here to edit the saved cities. On the settings menu, we have options for widgets, units, automatic update or manual update, update interval and so on. Moving on to the widget, we have a very cool and a stylish widget as I've already mentioned with current date, time and the location on the left and weather on the right. Tapping on the time will take it to our default clock app and tapping on the weather brings the solo weather app. We also get a widget of this app on the lock screen that looks really nice. So a very cool weather app with a very cool widget. Very handy if you are traveling. 
The next one is the ES File Explorer. This application is the best file manager, application manager, and cloud service client for any Android smartphone. This app is really easy to use, plus it's really easy to view all the files and folders that are available on your phone memory as well as external memory. You even can access your cloud storage. You can create your files and folders, copy them, move them to different locations, hide them, and even compress or extract them. This app comes with an inbuilt compressor for your files and extractor for your compressed files like GIF files, RAR files, etc. Meaning, with this app installed on your phone, you will not be needing any other applications for your compressed files. You can share your files directly through this app to different social medias, Bluetooth devices, and others. This app even supports gestures. To add a new gesture, simply tap on the fast access menu. Tap on gesture, select action, and define your gesture for that action. Now you can draw that gesture to perform the given action. You have other options like App Manager where you can manage the apps that are installed on your phone, your download manager, and so on. You can even choose themes for your file explorer and customize your app in the settings menu. This app also gives you access to the system files. So if you are into routing and uh, custom ROMs, mods, this is a must-have file manager. So another must-have application for any Android smartphone. The next one is 12 hours. 12 Hours is a widget app that brings a very fancy and a customizable clock widget to your home screen. You get this cool widget showing you the current time of your location, and if you tap on it, you get a so-called today's view based on hours. You can slide down for a whole 24 hour view, and slide left for tomorrow, and right for yesterday. From options you can create events, search events, and choose calendars to display. From the settings menu, you can sync your calendars from different email accounts, add different accounts, and on general settings, you have different options for the widget and its notification. Back to the app, we have main settings for the default account. We have got style settings for gradient, inner and outer intensity for gradient, as well as different color palette. From extras, we can choose any app to start when we press the center of the widget. So guys, I found the concept of this widget very cool, so included this app on my list. The next one is Udemy. Udemy is a learning app that lets you learn your courses right from your phone. This app is very handy if you are a student. As your phone is always with you and it is not always possible to carry your course book with you, you will have to sign up for this app before you use it. After you have signed up for this app, you can discover courses based on your desired topic. And this app comes with its own store for various courses. As you can see, I have not enrolled myself in any courses yet. I can tap on the Discover Courses icon to explore the courses on its own store. Here I have three different tabs, On Sale, New and Categories. On the On Sale tab, I get different courses with a discount. On the New tab, I can uh, see the new courses added on the store. And on Category, I can choose between different category or simply make a search by tapping here. You also have this slider menu for viewing the courses you are currently enrolling. Discovering more courses and settings. On settings, we have options for the app, like auto starting the lecture, continuing from the last scene point, and so on. So a very handy app for students. The next one here is USnap. USnap is a camera app that lets you take photos and edit them right away. Once you start this app, you have a camera interface to take pictures and edit them instantly. Or to edit the saved pictures or the pictures from the default camera app, tap here. You get the regular options for your flash, camera settings for resolution, image correction options, etc. Now let me take a picture and show you what this app is all about. Let's take a picture. As you can see the app automatically detects the picture and crops it. You can undo the cropping by tapping here and uh, you also can crop it manually. Once done you can go on to the effects section and choose between different effects like high contrast, moderate and grayscale. And then you can save your image by tapping here. To share and save the documents on PDF format, you will have to upgrade to Pro version. So guys, the ability to convert JPEG files into PDF files is a really cool add-on onto this camera app, I would say. The next one is Shash. Shash puts your device in silent mode or vibration mode whenever it's unlocked 
or say whenever the screen is turned on. You don't need loud ringtones or alerts to notify you about any calls or text when you are using your phone or when you are looking at your phone. So with this app, whenever your screen is turned on or whenever your phone is unlocked, your phone is on the silent mode or the vibration mode. And as soon as you lock your phone or uh, keep it away or say when the screen is turned off, the phone gets back into the normal mode. So whenever you are using your phone, your notifications are silent. That's what this app does. On the app, you have options to turn on or off the shush. Run in foreground if your device is low on running memory and vibrate instead of silent, which makes your phone vibrate whenever your screen is on and you receive a notification. You can also disable this feature while using several apps. You can select the apps by tapping here and choose the apps to run on the normal profile. Say I want my phone to ring or alert while using Apollo music player. I simply check on the Apollo music player and my phone will ring or vibrate while using this app. So a very handy and a functional application. The next one is Photoshop Editor. Photoshop Editor is a photo editing app from Adobe. With this app you can create and edit your photos. In other words, you can give a professional touch to your pictures if you are good with editing. When you start the app, you get a three different options to choose photos from. Number one is Adobe Revel. Number two is Adobe's own cloud service which allows you to sign in and upload your edited pictures into private albums so that you can share or view them in any other phone or computer by just signing in. So this is a very cool add-on. Lastly, you can take pictures from your camera or you can select any picture from the gallery. So let me choose a picture. So here I have options to go back, undo the changes, auto enhance the picture and see the original picture. Next to that, we have options to share or save to the gallery as well as different other options. Below that, we have effects for looks like normal, vibrant, autumn or spring. We also have options to resize, rotate, flip or crop the image. We have settings for exposure and contrast and we have red eye reduction options as well. And you can always see the original picture by tapping here. So you can, you know, just differentiate the original picture and the edited picture. So this is a very simple and easy photo editing application if you just want to enhance your pictures or do some correction with lightings. The next one is Evolve SMS. Evolve SMS is a messaging app that brings Android 4.4 KitKat styled messaging app to your phone. If you are ever bored of the stock messaging app and want a change, or if you like the messaging app on the stock Android KitKat, you can try this app out. So the UI here is very simple. You can search through your messages by tapping here and create a new message by tapping here. So you can type the contact number or the contact name and start typing your message. To add more contacts, simply tap here and to attach files, tap here. From the settings menu, you can customize the look and feel of this app from this theme option. We can also download emojis of iOS or Android. We have got notification settings, MMS settings, security settings, and advanced settings for advanced options. So guys, if you don't like using the SMS integration on your Google Hangouts, you can basically use this app to get the same UI, but not the Hangout integration. The last one for today's episode is iFont. Basically, this app helps you to change the font on your phone actually the whole system font but you need to be rooted to use this app once you open this app you get options to choose the language first so it's good to have other language options too so let me choose english so as you can see here we have a list of all the available fonts great looking fonts and this app always gets an update with all the new fonts choose the one you like and hit download once the download is done hit set and reboot now you have this new font so guys, uh, there are a lot of other apps in the Play Store, but for me this app works really great, works the best in a lot of other Android devices too. So give it a try guys. So that's a wrap. I will be coming up with next episode very soon. Stay tuned for more and uh, you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.